<clears throat> what up YouTubers? Got a brand new G30 in the mail today. Um, gonna build this up on Terminator g -Tac. Gonna do a, a bottle conversion, carbon fiber bottle, lighten it up and uh, get some more air capacity for some more shots. This thing eats up the air, running about 110 foot-pounds of energy. So uh, we're gonna give it a little bit more air and we're gonna give it a, a, a lighter feel and a more centered weight bias so it's not so front muzzle heavy. All right, so check out this video, stay tuned. Then uh, the other thing is, every time uh, we get a PCP in, we gotta sell the PCP, so stay tuned to the end of this video and you'll see which PCP we're putting up for sale on the chopping block, all right? So that's how she comes in the box. Looking like a beauty. Oh yeah, freshy. Woo! Check it, dog. G30 right there. 110 foot pounds on a budget. Very nice. This rifle's already empty, so uh, no air came out of it. <clears throat> that problem and remedy that situation by putting a uh, shorter bottle on <clears throat> but it's also going to be carbon fiber so it'll be a little bit lighter but it's going to move the weight back and chop some weight off <clears throat> but it's nice that Umarex slapped a 300 bar bottle on there and larger capacity so that's pretty good for them <clears throat> it's just a little bit long for my taste How we do it, Terminator Productions. We can't just leave it bone stock out of the box. <clears throat> Got to make it better and better. <clears throat> so, tightening the safety switch to the middle should pop right out. There we have the uh, guts <clears throat> of the G30, boys and girls. All right. <clears throat> all right so to get this uh 500 cc carbon bottle on we got to uh change out the regulator for this uh, adapter one so i'm gonna grease up this o-ring a little bit some uh silicon grease a little bit on the threads grease up these uh, other o-rings So here's the difference of the uh, bottles. This one's noticeably lighter than the OEM, but plus it's going to be shorter, so uh, it'll keep the weight back towards the action a little better. <clears throat> Give us some more shots per fill. The OEM uh, bottle is uh, 390 cc's, I think, and this one here is 500, so we'll definitely get more shots per fill. Both of them 300 bar bottles. Well, 4,500. All right. Damn. Just that easy, boys and girls. Woo! Check it, dog. All right. So, uh, 
Next thing what we're going to do is slap on a, a Terminator GTAC complete uh, chassis on here. Then we're going to run some uh, Terminator bottle bands and the Terminator 30 Dog XL LDC. Keep her uh, quiet. So yeah, stay tuned for that, boys and girls. Shout out to boys and girls out there in YouTube land. So uh, on the last episode of uh, Pimp My Rifle, we uh, disassembled this Gauntlet 30. Did a, a 500cc carbon bottle conversion. OEM, this PCP comes with a, a 390cc uh, bottle. So with 500ccs, we'll be getting more shots but also the uh, OEM bottle is a lot longer and a little bit heavier so it um, gives the gun kind of a heavy front bias feel but this one here is going to give us a better balance and more uh, shots per fell so uh, yeah now <coughs> uh, we already took all the OEM compo uh, like stock components off of this and of course we're gonna rebuild it with the Terminator stock. So um tighten up this air bleed, get ready to fill up. Got this new colorway for you guys today. Golden black. Oh yeah. We're gonna call this the bumblebee. So anyway, to install this in there, it's real simple. Just uh put the safety switch in the uh safe position. Just drop it in there, slide it back, now you're all lined up. Bottom screw in the OEM location that's provided with the kit, just screw that in. Snug her up, and then we just got the two screw holes in the OEM location as well. Just start the threads on those on each side before snugging them up. Make sure everything lines up real good. All right. Once you get them threaded in, <coughs> snug it up. That's pretty much all she is. All, all it is to get her on. But uh, <clears throat> now, being that this puppy here got a long barrel to, at 28 inches, and uh, the sole barrel band that it has is real close to the breech, so it, it ain't doing much out here. And uh, most people are probably gonna put a big LDC on this to hush down the muzzle report, being that it's kicking out over 100 foot pounds of FPE. So uh, since we can see a little bit of flex in the barrel, side to side and up and down, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> solve that problem with this here Gauntlet 2 Terminator Mega Band. So we're just going to take off the uh, threaded end cap the half UNF adapter because it's a little bit wider diameter than the shroud then we can slide on the uh, barrel band nice snug fit Bam. check it dog <clears throat> and then this has uh, four machine screws to tighten it up with. So we're just gonna lightly snug those up. Now uh, we don't, we're not gonna have any movement in the uh, barrel shroud. It doesn't. It can't move side to side or up and down. So. Uh, that's going to help out with the uh, not transmitting any barrel whip into the projectile to mess around with the point of impact. 
slap the threaded end cap back on. Now we still gonna have a loud muzzle report. <clears throat> so included with this uh, terminated GTAC kit is the uh, 30 Dog XL LDC. Thread that on there. Snug that up pretty good. And then, uh, there's <clears throat> that. Now, uh, this uh, terminated GTAC stock, it ends up saving about a pound off the OEM setup, and then this bottle being a little bit lighter, so uh, you get a lighter feeling uh, rifle that's a little bit more compact and uh, more versatile. Um, <clears throat> the M-Lock bipod mounts are key because uh shave some of the weight by not having all that center stuff on the bipod it just has just what it needs and then it's real stable being mounted right to you um it's a good location and then it tucks up out of the way real well just like so for offhand shooting okay but uh pretty good setup bench or out in the field um, 30 dog XL LDC keeps the muzzle report down uh, terminated mega band keeps uh, the barrel pointed where you think it's going to be pointed it locks it in line with the optics rail so it's not going to be able to move side to side or up and down it's just perfectly locked in with the optics mounting rail so uh, that way you're going to hit what you point at and then uh, <clears throat> real good budget on this rifle uh, if you want to get this uh, kit for your uh, gauntlet 2 just hit up the eBay store or just uh, drop a comment on the um, YouTube channel and I'll get you a little bit better deal than that but uh, yeah um, golden black new colorway bumblebee status and then uh, Purchase this kit or purchase this whole rifle. I'll slap this rifle up on the eBay store for uh, right around, I think it's going to be around 1200 bucks. But uh, hit me up in the comments on uh, YouTube and I'll get you into this rifle a little bit cheaper. Um, this is a brand new unit. Everything on here is all brand new. Never been aired up, never been shot. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, hit me up on YouTube, on YouTube so that way I don't have to pay all those extra fees. But uh, I'll give you guys a little bit better price. But uh, this is a, a really good budget, um, friendly powerhouse right here. Uh, you know, for the budget, for the price, it's like half as much as like high end 30 cal. But yet, you know, these are a, probably more powerful than a lot of the 30 cal's out there on the market, even on the upper end. So uh, we get, we got, I've got um, 110 foot pounds. My buddy uh, Jay from Jackson Ballistics, he's gotten about 125 foot pounds, so um, out of his, so yeah, um, kicking some hardcore power, and then uh, real good accuracy. I shot it out to 100. I had uh, five shots um, touching in the wind, and then two shots were kind of like uh, fly, like fl flyered out a little bit, but. Um, check the previous video I mean we had super high winds I was shooting with Luis from Air Guns Idaho and uh, yeah I had like five shots touching and that was with hunting pellets so uh, that was with the FX uh, what do you call it I don't know they're like Hades um, the hunting hunting pellets so uh, yeah put some JSB uh, 44s in this sucker and uh, you'll have real good accuracy real good precision out at uh, real, real long yardages with uh, this whole setup. All right, catch you guys later.